So I'm about, I'm kind of half in my Lycra and I'm about to get out of my bike, I think. <laughs> For the last seven days, I've been spoilt by the most amazing cycling playground I could have ever wished for. The, the terrain in Wales was just a dream. I was so excited to get out on my bike every single day. You couldn't stop me flogging myself up the hills. <laughs> and uh, now that I'm back in flat, traffic-ridden London, some some reason I feel unenthused. I'm not, I'm, pff, who knows why? <laughs> Do you know why, Roxy? Do you know why I feel unenthused about being back in London? Flat, traffic-ridden London. My body is using me being spoilt as an excuse, the contrast in terrain as an excuse for me to conserve energy, for me not to get out on my bike. <sighs> but we know that doing what's easiest is never gonna get us where we want to be. And I know that you have been in this same position that I am right now, procrastination city, <laughs> the crossroads of excuses. When the body's default position is that it doesn't want to expel energy, that it wants to do what is easiest, you know that any excuse, the conditions are never going to be perfect. There's always going to be some excuse that your body is going to, going to use. Even the most tiny excuse, the tiniest crack of an excuse, is going to blow that crack up into something massive that is going to be reason enough for you not to get out on your bike, for you not to sit your ass in that saddle and start pedaling. So the motivation for you to get out there and do what you need to do in order to reach your goals has to come from within. And, the, and so when you can do that, when you know that your motivation can come from within, no matter what the outside influences are, that's when you're invincible. So I'm making this video to inspire ourselves in the future, in this moment right now, for us to get and go out and do what we need to do, even when we don't want to, because that is going to lead us, that is going to push us over the edge into the universe that includes our wildest dreams. I still have so much that I want to achieve, and the only way I'm going to get there is by being aware of how every single second of every single day, these tiny choices in the moment that I have, uh, have so much power. You know, they have so much influence over the course of my life. They all add up. And me being more aware of, of this, you know, dissolves the excuses and helps me win this battle of procrastination between my mind and my body so that I can do what I need to do even when I don't want to. Because the thing is, doing what is easiest is just going to lead to a universe of regret. <laughs> Wishing we had done more in this moment right now. Thank you for watching. Thanks for listening to me ramble about abstract concepts. So before we go out, I'm going to open this package. Could this be the new DJI Mavic Pro drone? It's not. So I hope this video has been of some inspiration to somebody. If it gets even one person out on their bike, even if it's just because they wanted to turn this video off to shut me up, then that is, that is good enough for me. So let's see what we've got here. We've got some new glasses. 100%. Let's see. So I wasn't sure about whether these glasses would look good. They look good on Peter Sagan, but <laughs> I am no Peter Sagan. Let's have a look here. See, I don't like the, the Folkley glasses. I think, I don't know, they weren't doing it for me. So I decided to go along with the, the fluoro orange theme that we're building. We got some fluoro orange 100% glasses. 100% real glasses, of course. So they, they look pretty cool. I like those. They look pretty good. I like those. Let's Peter Sagan, eat your heart out. What do you think, Roxy? What do you think, Roxy? Do you like them? Do you want to try them on? Yeah? I'm going to try them on. Look better on her than they do on me. Oh my lord, these glasses are massive. <laughs> they are hilarious. This is insane, Roxy. Who who wears glasses this ma this massive? Maybe it'll look better with the helmet on. No, they're still massive, Roxy. They're still massive. Peter Sagan must have a massive head. Or, or just really big eyes or something. These are insane. <laughs> I'm not sure I can wear glasses this big. Maybe they look better on, on, on camera. I don't know. I'm not sure. 100% unsure as to whether I'm going to wear these out on the road. So despite every adverse weather condition going, still glad I got out here. We had heavy rain, hail, a headwind the entire way. And I'm still glad I 
came out. This, this is the universe of limitless possibilities.